morning. So I'm excited to talk to you about the FedEx journey. So let me start with a little bit about FedEx. With over 400,000 team members, over 600 planes, and over 160,000 motorized vehicles across 220 countries and territories, we believe that connecting people to goods, services, and ideas creates opportunities and improves lives. And we do that with data. We've been a data-driven company almost from the beginning. Our founder, Mr. Fred Smith, is quoted as saying, the information about the package is as important as the package itself. And many of those data-driven decisions are done from the environment my team provides for a global analytic ecosystem. So let's talk about how we do that. There's a parable in Hindu texts, Buddhist texts, across Indian culture, and it broadly goes like this. There was a strange animal called an elephant that was going to be introduced to a village that had never seen it before. And there were some blind men in this village that were very interested in understanding the elephant. And they said, we need to go down and inspect this and feel it like we do to understand the world. So they went down, and one of them reached up, it was a very short elephant, and grabbed the tail and said, oh, that, that feels like a rope. And then one felt the side of the elephant and said, it's like a wall. And then one grabbed the trunk of the elephant and said, oh, that's like a thick snake. And that's a lot like analytics have been, basic and advanced for business areas. They, they get their slice of the environment, and they don't have the complete context to make that more informed decision. As we've added Hortonworks to our capabilities, we've been able to broaden that context for our business partners. And I'm excited to tell you how we're doing that. So for the next few minutes, I'd like for you to think about how these capabilities can help your business. I'm going to start with actually how we engage with our business partners and IT partners. We've got a very defined engagement model to ensure that we're getting business value from the environment. And so we start with just asking, what's the business problem you're trying to solve? What action do you want to be able to take? Because we find once they can articulate that, then we can run it through what we have an analytics decision tree to bring forward the right technology for that problem. As we determine that Hortonworks is the right solution for that, we then partner with them and move to the train bu um, bubble on this slide. And we talk to them about what it's like to work in a non-relational environment. For 20 years, we've had relational databases, and we've got very tech-savvy business partners. And so they come with designs of how they want this to work. So we partner with them to help with that mind shift. And we also have a BI type tool that we've put on top that enables them to visualize the data. So we got value much more quickly because we didn't have to have in-depth data scientists right off the bat. So the first use case we lead, because it takes a little bit to get used to the technology. And as we work with them and they, they begin to realize the value, we then take a back seat and, and become consultants for that second use case. And that's where we make sure that they understand what it means to work within the guardrails of keeping the environment secure, of understanding reliability in a shared environment, and how they contribute to making sure that stays reliable. But ultimately, how they can expedite speed to value for their part of the business. And finally, we love for them to be self-sufficient once they know those those guardrails, then we enable them to realize business value, and we just ask that they keep us in the loop on the business value they're realizing. And I'll talk about that a little more, because that's extremely powerful. That's how we get the continued investment in the environment. So what problems are team members solving? Well, this is the exciting part, right? This is where the rubber meets the road, and this is the fun part. This is why we have the technology because it's to enable business value. So I'm going to give you high level one use case where team members were benefits, beneficiaries, and two use cases around customers. So the first one, uh, we had team members that were trying to improve the speed at which information about your shipments are available to you. 
So I said before, information about the package is as important as the package itself. Well, for the company that invented package tracking, it's important that you get that information quickly. So as they were looking to improve how quickly we can deliver that, we brought the data into the Hortonworks environment. They could see it at scale, in context, in a visual manner. And they could see that there was a business process that needed to change. So they could be more efficient and more effective in getting that information available. So that was significant in improving the information about your shipments being available even faster than it usually is. On the customer side, I've got two uh, examples I'd love to share. One is around information security. I'll put our information security team up against anybody. So we, we've got a great information security team, and they protect our customers and our team members around the globe on a daily basis. And so what they've done is they've come to us and partnered to do machine learning in the environment to protect our customers from fraud. And they do this on a regular basis, daily, automated. And what they've told us is without the Hortonworks capabilities, it would be almost impossible for them to solve that problem in as an effective a manner as they are able to do today. The last one was really uh, significant in changing the way we talk with our customers. So this was around inbound visibility. You can imagine at the scale I started with across 220 plus countries and territories, there are a lot of shipments moving through our, our networks. And so having the visibility to understand what's coming where, when, from which customers helps us ensure we're staffed appropriately, that we've got the right volume in the right place to deliver that overnight. And one business partner, our group of data scientists, were trying to model customer behavior to improve that. And they were doing it in our relational environment. And unfortunately, they did it at a very critical time and, and really brought the system to its knees. So we pulled them over into the Hortonworks environment. And within one hour, they saw adjustments that were needed to their model that ultimately resulted in being able to proactively call customers and say, we think this freight is still on your dock. And sure enough, it was. So we've changed the way we can interface with our customers as a result of having these environments available. And my team will tell you, <laughs> I am all over them about capturing business value. We now have a dashboard that's got four years worth of business value by quarter that's been delivered as a result of this environment being available. And it's from objective measures, increased revenue, cost savings, optimizations, and the metrics around that. As much of that as we can capture, we do. And our business partners lean into us for that. But what we've discovered is there are plenty of value opportunities that are just hard to measure. How do you measure improved data quality? How do you put dollars and cents to that? What metrics do you put around that? How do you measure efficiencies that just make a team member's day better and makes them excited to be at work? But ultimately, how do you measure the value of protecting your brand? We've all seen the apology commercials over the last few months from pretty major corporations, so we know brand matters and it's valuable. But we can't always put dollars and cents around how this use case contributed to a dollar value for that. But it's important. So we capture all of that. And that dashboard has been extremely powerful in talking to my finance partners to get continued investment in the environment, to talk to senior leadership about the volume and breadth of what we're able to help them deliver. So finally, what elephant are you going to explore? As you explore the, the full context of what you've got available across your enterprise, don't underestimate the power of the analytics. And I know this group doesn't. But if you think about what we're able to address, HR addresses how to handle the human capital management, finance has their piece of the pie. Operations has the day-to-day -day execution systems. But it's just for those lines of business. This analytic ecosystem undergirds all of that. And we have the potential 
to explode the value across the enterprise. And that's what excites us. And that's what's amazing about being able to see the elephant in context so that you can make more informed decisions. So I encourage you, be purposeful about the use cases you go after and capture that value, whether it's objective or subjective, because those are dashboards that'll really help move you forward. Thank you for listening.